Okay, welcome back to Old School Games 3. Today, we're going to be doing like a bit of art in our PE today, so we're going to get creative. So, we're going to need a box or maybe a couple of boxes. You could get these from the supermarket or maybe you could use um, old cereal boxes to do it as well. So, you're also going to need a pair of scissors, maybe better ones than me, only have little ones. A uh, pencil or to mark or maybe um, a texter or sharpie um, and then some sticky tape or a glue stick or a bit of both as well to stick some things together. So what we're going to be making is the game Ski Ball. So this game you might find in an arcade. Um, we're going to make our own mini arcade. So you roll a ball and it goes up a ramp and there's these little holes that it goes in and they're worth different points. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways we can make it. So we're focusing on making a ramp and then we're going to use like some household items like pots or pans or other things um, to help us with the score. You might need some paper as well to write down your score points because you can make them up as you go along. Ah, right, here we go. Now, if your box doesn't come out like mine, I've already cut the edges here. I'm going to cut it off as if I don't have one of these boxes because this is actually a pretty handy box. Alright, so now we've got a cool ramp and we can roll our ball up the ramp to put it into our scoring. Now, if you want to make a more original version, you could add on, as we hit here, and you could have the holes cut out in here. But it might depend on what ball you're using. So, if you use like a ping pong ball, you'd have to make the holes at least big enough for the ping pong to go in. And maybe the holes that are bigger are worth less points and the holes that are smaller are worth more points. But I might show you that one later, but I'll just show you with pots and pans as well. Okay, so I've got my little pots and pans. So I've got this small bowl is worth a thousand because it's harder. This one's medium. This pan, it's worth 500. And this big one's worth 100 it's a bit easier to get into. So my ramp set up here, you can set it up closer or further away. It's up to you. And you try and roll your ball. I've got a tennis ball. You might have a different ball, like a small um, bouncy ball, or you might have a down ball, or you might have a ping pong ball that you can use. So something that'll roll. And then I try and do it. Let's have a go. One hundred points. Let's see if I can get that thousand. Ooh, not quite. Try again. Oh, just bounced out. So you can see there, I had a little bit of a success. And obviously, the further back you roll from, the harder it'll be. So you could roll back from further to make it harder. You can try with your left and right hand. And you could have a game against someone else. Maybe you get five rolls each and the most amount of points wins. So that's our DIY ski ball. I'm going to show you another version where we have cut out the holes in our cardboard. But this is a bit easier for you to make. And you can try that. Good luck. 